All right. Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a six-box Prism Basketball Mixer. Pick your team number three. Now, as you saw right here, we didn't sell the Dallas Mavericks. So if you buy, buy at least two teams, we'll get at least one entry for that. So Ashley Nelson got two teams. You have one entry. Six entries there for Josie. That means three. Mark got two teams, so that's one entry for him. Richard Johansson got four teams, that's two. Rich will have a shot. And then TC got ten. So he'll get one, two, three, four. Actually, yeah, six and four, he'll get five. All right, so let's fire up random.org. Let's get all the names in there. And let's roll the dice. We'll randomize it three times, two and a one. Name on top, it gets the Mavs. One, two, three. There you go, TC, no doubt about it. Congrats, Tim. You got the Dallas Mavericks. Let's sort by team here. Let's do this. Just in time, Brad. So here is the final printout. Everything always does, Brad. Everything always does. Everything always sells out. It's just a matter of when it sells out is the question. Oh, I see. You meant Brad was meant sell out tonight. <laughs> yeah, this is well. These these are uh, these are retail hang tag ones. So that's that's the box they come in for retail stores. in basketball today. I don't even I even pay attention with all that football action. Not paid into attention to any hoops. Alright, Hornets beat the Nuggets, 123 to 110. Jazz beat the Pistons 110 to 105. After the Jazz only scored 13 points in the first quarter. Sixers beat the Mavs 106-100. Wow, Pelicans destroyed 
the Cavs, 133 to 98. Raptors beat the Bucks 123 to 116. I probably would have gone with the Bucks today. Spurs 108 to 88 over the Grizz in San Antonio. Trailblazers beat the Rockets 110 to 101, and the Warriors only beat the Kings by four points. Yeah, what happened in that game? <laughs> Roy's like, that's also why I've been cranky at Bucks game. What happened there? I think Kawhi Leonard's gonna stay in a. Uh... He's gonna stay in Toronto. He's scored thirty points today. Giannis went 43 and 18. Oh, Kings were up in the fourth. There was a record number of threes. The Kings have actually been playing some good basketball. And they're uh they're one of the fastest. They're 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 the team that I guess engineers the most fast breaks or, like that, or runs the most fast breaks. So Sacramento is something exciting to watch. All right. Let's breeze through these. We're going to stop on the hits or important parallels, like if it's like a silver Luka Doncic, obviously. But parallels like that green, which are not numbered, will obviously ship. I think it's only veteran commons that won't ship. Uh oh, the National Weather Service has something to tell me. Like a green Luka Doncic, that's nice. A flash flood warning, ladies and gentlemen. What? For the following count, this is way too slow. Nice one for the Mavs, TC, who got the Mavs in that promo. Los Angeles, California, that's me. Until when? Until 1.10 a.m.? All right, my drive home should be fun. <laughs> I gotta, so Rory's saying we're down, he's down to 184 on gas. Cause no one's driving, right? Cause you guys are all snowed in. I've got to pay almost $4 a gallon for gas and deal with flash floods, Rory. Are these, are these worth anything right here? I don't know, if water starts pouring in from the door, ladies and gentlemen, I'll save the hits. These should be the red, white, and blue ones. Yeah, someone else, uh, Sanford, Rory, was saying that uh, it was kind of unseasonably, unseasonably warm up there. I feel like it's been somewhat unseasonably cold over here. Rain? What's with this rain? It doesn't rain. Actually, it does rain in the winter. That's our our snow is rain. It's good for skiing around here. Almost 60 in Colorado. I feel like it should be a lot lower, right?
how you're going to win the fourth quarter, uh, where I'm at in the first three quarters. And again, that's a good football team. They have a physical team. So none of, none of these are number or anything like that, but there's just the special. Um, I guess we're just looking for some of the top rookies. There's special red, white, and blue parallels. Got Colin Sexton, which are exclusive to this particular release. Yeah, kind of looks like a barber shop, right? Barber shop pole, or like the old international. International envelopes. Colin Sexton goes to uh, Richard Johansson, the Cavs. Almost there. <laughs> We're starting to get to the, get to the real good stuff right here. Got to get got to get through this first. I don't think there's any autographs in these ones, or maybe there there could be. I think super rare though. But thankfully, like if you get like the silver parallel of the of some of the top rookies, it's a big return on a secondary market. Mr. 
Let's see if that Michael Bridges silver too. Is Pete Carroll? Is he done in Seattle? You think? I mean, he's. I think he's one of the oldest. He looks kind of young. Nice Yandre Ayton for the Suns. Ashley, Ashley Nelson with that. Um, I mean, he can't go on forever, right? Obviously, he can't. But I think he's one of the older coaches in the league. I think in Tim, I think Belichick might be the oldest or second oldest. Looks pretty spry. Still seems like he loves it. Let's see that LeBron James Lakers edition of LeBron James. LeBron James. Seahawks need to do. In the offseason, maybe shore up that defense. A little more more pass catching gloves on offense, perhaps. There's Kevin Knox. Right, Prism Retail. Yeah, they, I guess they definitely have to replace Janikowski. That's for sure. Special teams. You gotta replace Janikowski. Break chatter is boring without your whining. I was okay without it. Um, you got to replace Janikowski. Defense, you got to shore up that defense. If they're really committed to that running attack that they've kind of shifted their game to this year, all the all the boring stuff, all the uh, all the offensive line, defensive line, kind of shoring up. Maybe someone on the other side of Doug Baldwin could be an interesting one too. <laughs> Replace washed up Russell Wilson, Brad says. I feel like they got a. I gotta take, um, you know, like the Seahawks are definitely in a tough division. The Niners are gonna be better next season. Rams are gonna be just as just as good, if not better, next season. There's not a lot of not a lot of room. 
But like it, it's always hardest with like those those cusp teams, you know. Like they got to the playoffs, they had a lot of wins. What's like? How do you get over that hurdle, that final hurdle? It was Darius Miles for the Clippers? Ashley Nelson with the autograph. I think he's joking. Wait, you're serious? No, I disagree with that, Brad. Good quarterbacks are hard to find. Russell Wilson has... I mean, he's still pretty young. Quarterbacks can can last for a while nowadays. They're not using they're not relying on him to run the ball more often. I don't think I don't think uh, Russell Wilson's the problem. I don't know if it was a lack of I don't know if it was a lack of leadership that that was the result that was which was why they lost the game. I think uh they just need more quality. More quality offensive weapons around them. Yeah, maybe some better play calling there. I think Russell Wilson's probably on on the uh, Russell Wilson's probably on the low end of the prior or, or of the list of problems. He's probably at the bottom of that list. If you get rid of Russell Wilson, you know, then, I mean, you're, you're essentially saying you're starting from scratch. Oh, so that's what Brad's saying. Brad's saying he's, he used to be able to call to be able to change plays and change, change out of plays and stuff, and now he can't. Why can't he? That'd probably be a uh, that's probably a coaching issue. A good coach would let Russell Wilson do that. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I don't think Russell Wilson. Yeah, Pete Carroll. So that's a Pete Carroll problem, not a Russell Wilson problem. And the, I think the other thing is, and I, yeah, you know, Ethan, you're right. I mean, Russell Wilson isn't exactly. You know, I'm not saying he's the greatest of all time, but he's also not a bad quarterback. He's a very solid quarterback. And so replacing him is going to be. Replacing him is going to be difficult. That's the difficult task. Sure, you could not like you could personally not like Russell Wilson, but but then the question is, well, what do you what do you who do you replace who do you replace him with? Well, I don't think you can just do it. It's like it's like Pete Carroll's his his boss, so. If Pete Carroll doesn't want him to do it, there's Eric Snow for the Sixers. It's kind of like saying, well, F you, boss. And that, that creates a whole other set of problems. You know, but that's the difficult part. What are we going to replace him with? You know, people in Oakland, people, Raiders fans will say, well, maybe Derek Carr is not the answer. 
And I'm just like, all right, well, then who do you replace him with? People in Green Bay, I'm sure there's, Rory can probably tell you about how many crazy fans are saying, Aaron Rodgers, what a cancer, blah, blah, blah. I don't, I don't know if that's the, necessarily the problem. All right, hobby box is time. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Johnny Manziel would be better. He can barely last in the Canadian football league. Honestly, Brad, I think all the stuff that you're kind of talking about, that those are those are those are coaching issues. Those are coaching issues. Which I think everyone would agree with you on that, that that coaching issues are are the problem. That he's as Dano is saying, bad play calling, right? And why is he not like unleashing Russell Wilson getting the best out of his performance. So I think that is that is the difficult that's that's the, that's what we're kind of getting at. Because as Rory pointed out earlier, that's the coach that decided to pass at like in the Super Bowl. Got that interception when they should have just had Marshawn Lynch run it in. I don't know what Kyler Murray's doing. That's a very good question. Rory, you had, Rory had a customer telling me they should trade Rodgers for Foles plus three first rounders. As a uh, as a as a long suffering Raiders fan, who who has had had to deal with, you know, below average to poor quarterbacks for the for like, you know, since the since the early two thousands, you know, since the early two thousands, like I would I would have killed for a Russell Wilson in that time period. Look at the, look at how thrilled the Cleveland Browns are, you know, to have uh, to have Baker Mayfield be like a decent court after after they had to deal with all that for ages. There's Melvin Frazier for the Orlando Magic, deal with the quarterback carousel for ages. Yeah, but that was in the early 2000s, Brad. Rich Cannon. You know, and since then it was just been it's just been a quarterback carousel, bad draft after bad draft after bad draft. You know, Terrell Pryor, Jason Campbell, Jamarcus Russell, can go on and on. And Rich Gannon didn't didn't deliver a Super Bowl victory either. Russell Wilson has. A good quarterback is hard to find these days, you know. So, so it's 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 difficult once you have like an above average quarterback. Well, why did the Ravens stick with Flacco for so long? Two out of ten, Anthony Hardaway. Look at that! Wow. Sensational signatures for the Orlando Magic. Lou, with the Magic. Do you believe in Magic? Yes. It's pretty nice. When's the last time there any rate? 1980 something? I think they beat the uh, the Eagles in the 84 Super Bowl, early 80 Super Bowl, something like that. There's Lou. Nice hit, Lou. An old John Madden team in the 80, early 80s. It was the last time they went to and won a Super Bowl. DiVincenzo. Stockton, Red Wave, those aren't numbered. 
And the last hobby box. <laughs> yeah, Fred. So the Dodgers haven't won since 88. The Raiders haven't won since the early 80s. So it's been a minute or two. All right, last box in the six box rack pack retail and hobby mixer of 2018-19 Panini Prism Basketball. If you're watching the replay, sorry about all the football talk. I guess with the Saturday wild card game, we just all kind of have football on the brain right now. Nice silver, Jaron Jackson Jr. for the Grizzlies. That goes to Rich Schmidt. There you go, Rich. We've got Troy Brown Jr. Autograph for the Wizards, TC with the Wizards. Frank Minsky, Markel Fultz, Stephen Adams. D'Angelo Russell to 99. That Kaminsky is at a 149, by the way. Josh Hart, not a rookie. That's a mistake. And Jared Vanderbilt, autograph of the Denver Nuggets. That is for Brad. There you go, Brad. Brad on the board. With a sensational signature. Kaminsky again to 199. And that, my friends, is that. That was a six box mixer, folks, on a Saturday. 1819 Prison Basketball. Do we have any other Prison Basketball in the store? I think we have some personal boxes of the retail version. Those green boxes that we did. So check that out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.